Oh, my old age. Oh. <laughs> Hurts to get up. Hi, my name is Alexa. In today's video, we're going to be doing a makeup declutter. Now, I did a poll and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a closet declutter, a makeup declutter, an apartment declutter, or I don't remember what the last one was. Whatever, I'll put it on screen. The two top ranking were makeup and apartment, and I'm still gonna do the apartment declutter, but I think I'll do the makeup declutter first. The last time I did a makeup declutter was a year ago, and I decluttered a lot like a huge box worth of makeup you guys have also watched me do a swatch and declutter of my entire lipstick collection which was about 70 lipsticks if you haven't seen that i'll link it down below or in the cards now this is a big deal for me because i've received a lot of pr over the years being a beauty blogger on and off for the last 14 years and i was a shopaholic up until i would say 2018. The shopaholism has just kind of diminished over time. I have a lot of videos about overcoming shopaholism and stuff. So if you need that, check out my videos, subscribe to the channel. See you in the rest of this video, which is a makeup declutter. Yay! So these containers you see on the right were all the containers that were in the shelf. A lot of them contained PR samples. I had them organized by face cream, face wash, face serums. I took those out because it was a waste of vertical space and it was just somewhere that I didn't feel was very natural to reach for. Up here, we have all of my more current PR samples and products that I've been dabbling with lately. And truthfully, I don't use them that much because when I'm getting ready to go to work, I just reach into this makeup bag, sort of like the way you pre-plan an outfit for work the day before. Well, I do that with my makeup. I have it consolidated in this little makeup bag. I do nine to five. I want to be in and out of the apartment in the morning. This makeup drawer here, which I am repurposing as a television stand, it's not a TV, it's a, well, it's a TV I'm using hooked up to my mom's old computer. But in here, I used to keep my makeup collection. Right now, most of it has moved, been moved out, but I'm gonna show you what the, what's in the drawers. Random things, because I needed to just make sure the space was clear. I've put the face serums here. All of them are here now, except the very, very newest PR, which is pretty crazy. I'm gonna be looking through to see if I find duplicates so that I can pass them along. These are my exfoliants and face masks. I'm proud about this because it's gotten a lot smaller since before. I decluttered a lot of them previously. I've kept the inserts from my makeup drawers because this way if any of the products leak, it's not going to create any damage because it's in plastic. They're cleansing oils and cleansers mostly. I'm not super worried about using these up because, I mean, when it comes to face wash, I sometimes repurpose them as body wash when I have too much. I do the same with face creams. If they're on the edge and I really need to use them up, I will use them on my body, especially my legs and arms in the summertime. This drawer here hasn't been moved out because my makeup drawers are currently full. I need to declutter them so that I can put these things there and continue to use this for like kind of more skin and body care. That's what I want this set of drawers to be. The very last drawer has some random makeup pads, but <laughs> I also mostly have micellar waters and things like that because that's heavy. There's one cleanser on the side. It's like a hydrating milk lotion. I have no idea. I just kind of just shoved things in here. I prefer this method of organization so much more than the way that I had everything in these bins before standing up in these bags and I would just never really reach in here. I think having the drawers and seeing everything laying down flat is just way better. So now a bunch of these are empty and they're actually a bit smaller than the white ones. This whole shelving unit is going to be a big process for me to declutter that I'm not going to do today. 
something else that I've been procrastinating on for ages. This is no longer a photo album box, by the way. All of this is nail polish, except for this and this bin. Sorry, I'm using my foot to point, but it's just easier. Um, I really do need to go through the nail polishes for the millionth time. I keep saying I'm gonna do it. I don't do it, but I need to get rid of this stuff. You might be like, okay, Alexa, but where's the actual freaking makeup collection? Let me show you. A while ago, I put it all in this closet, my mom's closet. It is living in these Alex drawers, and there is a mix of her stuff too. Lashes and costume jewelry. The costume jewelry, I gotta be realistic. I don't wear this stuff anymore, and... um. I should probably get rid of it, but for some weird reason, I've been holding on to it. I have some lashes. I don't really mind this so much. This means that I can't put more makeup here, and uh, I'm not totally bothered by that. It's not something that like rots on me. I have this underutilized drawer with highlighters and just face powders, like um, a blush from Charlotte Tilbury. The rest is highlighters, I believe. Sorry about the clacking of the products. Then I have some face palettes. These are mostly blush and a couple of highlighters as well. See? Underutilized space. But whatever, the products are spread out. Mascaras, single eyeshadows, and liquid liners. So the thing about this is this hurts me, okay? Like, it pains me. This packaging is so sticky and gross from NARS. I hate them so much for their packaging from the 2010s because it was trash. And look, a piece of the hinge has broken off. So the packaging is actually broken, but the eyeshadows are perfectly fine and it hurts my soul. I want to take the pans out, but the other part of me is like, am I really going to use it if I do that? I went through these last year and I was like, oh, I'm going to keep them because I'm going to use them. I haven't used them. Next drawer, I have lipsticks. I did a full declutter of these in May where I swatched them on my lips. I can't remember when I uploaded it, but I definitely filmed it in May. So I don't think I'm going to be touching this drawer that much because I actually did the declutter. I've got face powders mostly, some concealers and correctors. I went through this a bit recently to smell it all to check if it was smelling like crayon or not because if it smells like crayon, I get rid of it instantly. I have three spare foundations in the back there, but I keep one in my makeup bag and one at my boyfriend's house. Technically, I have a total of five, but one of them's a concealer, so really four sponges makeup sponges and such but i also kept some old makeup because i wanted to go through it with you guys so that we could go down memory lane together but it will be decluttered just put it in a box for the purpose of if i make the video great if i don't then i'll just toss it anyways this is my eyeshadow palette drawer this hurts like this could be a whole separate video I don't know how I feel about decluttering that. See, I'm having a hard time. But my prerogative here is as long as things are relegated to this Alex 9 drawer, I'm okay with it for now. And then later on, if I feel like decluttering more, I will. In here, a lot of these are junk drawers from my mom's collection. Like, why do I have an electric toothbrush here? Old school eyeshadow palettes. Oh my God. That's a lot that I have to go through. More palettes, more powders. Some of these things are things I received in PR. And then if I didn't want them anymore and I wanted to declutter them, she would be like, no, don't, don't throw it out. Give it to me. And she would take it and not use it or only use it a few times and then forget about it. So that's something I have to go through now. Uh, these are just makeup tools and more makeup tools. Am I being overly ambitious today? Probably. But the makeup brushes, I don't know if I'm gonna go through all of that today. One of the bins in my Calyx shelf actually houses makeup brushes. There are a lot of brushes and I just don't want, like it's kind of boring to go through brushes in a makeup declutter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But I think I'm just gonna shove it all in that box and deal with it later because I'm organizing and decluttering. If you're familiar with my way of working and my way of thinking is I don't like everything to be scattered all over the place. I like my declutters to not make a big mess. 
and my prerogative is to finish decluttering just the makeup stuff right now. By the way, I'm also using another one of these Alex drawers as a nightstand. Don't worry, this isn't filled with makeup, but it's underutilized space that is filled with kind of like junky things. I think this would be a really good spot for my perfumes because presently my perfumes are in the upper right drawer of my dresser and on the tray I have a few perfumes that I use on a daily. I think I just need the daily drivers up there and the perfumes, the rest of them should really just fit in here. Full disclosure guys, this is not an aesthetically pleasing video because I am in the process of decluttering after loss and also I'm in the process of decluttering. Even if it wasn't after loss, there's an excess amount of things in here. If you wanna see an aesthetically pleasing declutter video, you can check out my talking head videos. I've already put some things. I've got micellar waters that I don't want because they're duplicates and my friend said she didn't need any. So that's what it, what it is. These, I just gotta throw out. They're old things. I've got a concealer that smells like crayon, a NYX glitter primer, and a few palettes from the brand beauty counter. These are not very pigmented and they're discontinued a long time ago. So I'm just putting them in. I've got two NARS blush palettes. This again hurts my soul because these are perfectly fine. Packaging is trash, but you would think that I barely even use these. And the truth is I didn't use them that much, but I did use them. Um, they're very old. Like I think my haul for this is in 2014 and I just hate the packaging. Could I put these in a different palette? Of course. Will I use them? Probably not, even if I do that. And I honestly feel like these are too old to gift to anyone. It's embarrassing. This was the Bourdain collection, the photographer there with the controversial photos. It's a beautiful collection. You see the hinge? It's broken. Typical NARS. That's right. I'm pointing at you, NARS. I'm sorry. I love the products but the packaging was horrendous. It's so sticky now too. Ugh. And here is the first one that they did. Orgasm, Super Orgasm, the Blush and Sin, and the super bright pink one. I can't recall what it was called. The bronzer and the highlighter. Really pretty, but again, look at this. What the hell, man? More NARS. I'm decluttering this because it was heavily used. As you can see, there's an indentation. It has a bit of hard pan. It's the blush in Dosar. And uh, I'm done. I'm good. I think I got my usage out of this. It was in a project pan for a while. I wanted to hit pan, but I didn't. But I got hard pan and I'm just, I'm over it. I have too many new things to be wasting my time on using this older product. It's also not a very pigmented blush. This one was my favorite. It's called Madly and it's since discontinued. It's a beautiful blush. It really is, but I think I got my fair use. The packaging is gross. I'm okay to let this go. The next one I have is in Luster, as you can see. In typical NARS fashion, broken, shitty packaging. And this is such a beautiful shade. It's like a lighter version of Madly. It kind of works like a highlighty blush, as you can see. But I have so many colors, so many other products that dupe this. Look at that. The plastic is even like crumbling and sticking onto my finger. To be fair, it's probably over a decade old. So I can't knock NARS too, too much. But I can because other cheap drugstore pack packaging doesn't break like this. I'm actually going to need to wash my hands after this because it's so sticky. The next one, damn it. Oh, this completely broke off. The next one I have is, what is this called? Gilda. It's a peachy toned blush. It's really cute. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. Thank you for the joy you brought in my life, but no, hell no. If you watched my lipstick declutter, you know this is all that's leaving my collection. The box on the floor will be for the products that I need to throw out, anything that needs to get thrown out. And this bag right here is going to be for anything that I feel like I can donate because it's not old or gross. That's how we're doing it today. 
I'm going to immediately pull out things that don't belong here and or need to be decluttered, thrown out, whatever. So this I can probably throw out. These are hair elastics. This is a throwback product and a half. Remember the Maybelline color jolts? I did a review for this a long time ago. I'm thinking of keeping a box for products that I want to talk about that are old, that I want to have a nostalgic moment with, with you guys. I'll put it in here if I never end up making that video or if nobody says that they're interested in seeing it, then I'll just chuck it, honestly, because I really need that in my life. This is one of those Laneige sleeping lip balms. I didn't like the peach one as much. I found it wasn't as fragrant as the other ones. I have a few of these already in different fragrances that I prefer. One of these essence sharpeners. I love these. This is a face massager. Will I ever use it to be continued? I don't know if I will. Let's put that in donations. A stained headband. Trash. Eau de toilette sample that's old as hell. Garbage for when your face is oily, to touch up your face. I wouldn't mind keeping that, I like those. A sharpener, what is this? Can somebody tell me what this is? I have no idea what that was. These are for earbuds. I don't, I probably don't need this. This is from a shelf, it's a screw for a shelf bobby pin keys to something i don't even know what these keys are for we'll see okay that takes care of this drawer I'm taking out the dividers so that i can use them for something else because the fun of that is i get storage items for other shelves my friends i just realized in order to facilitate this process i need a bin to put the things that don't even belong here so that i don't get distracted chuck these things in here. These are makeup dividers, so I'll keep those out. Chuck, chuck, chuck. So we'll keep this here because it's handy. We'll go into the next drawer. Aha! This is Makeup Throwback Land. Mom bought the same palette as me. See, we used to stupidly not just share. Hers is broken too. Goodbye, sticky NARS. Goodbye throwback item here oh my god it is the wet and wild comfort zone palette do y'all remember this these palettes had a chokehold on me and my mom we used to go to all the walmarts go looking for the wet and wild palettes and now here we are they are still fantastic but it's gonna go in the throwback box so that i can talk about it later but it won't stay in the collection uh it's going to get decluttered so i have nyx remember the old nyx trios it's a powder blush this is getting decluttered is it kind of weird that i'm not putting the nars stuff in the throwback stuff i think i have one of these already so i don't need two it's an eyeshadow duo from nars the old kind. Oh, these are, oh my god, these are OG cover girl, guys. Maybe this is the throwback video, right? Maybe I don't need to waste my time. Do you remember these palettes, guys, from Wet n Wild? No, this can go. This is the way L'Oreal eyeshadow packaging compacts used to look before. Yeah, of course she had this too, and I did too. Walking on Eggshells is such a nostalgic trio from Wet n Wild. Old Rimmel packaging. Old Wet n Wild single. NYX powder blush. Oh my god, do you guys remember the Maybelline Dream Bouncy blush? A lot of Wet n Wild. We loved that stuff because it was so affordable. It was really easy to hoard Wet n Wild. Then I have an old NYX blush. I used to love these. This one was called Bittersweet, and there was one that was called Terracotta that I loved so much. What is this? Oh my god. Old Clinique. Really old Clinique and some old CoverGirl. These were awesome, by the way. 
I loved these. She had two colors, one's more peachy and one's more pinky. I think this might be the throwback video, guys. I might not even have the stomach to touch this stuff or to keep this stuff in my house anymore. So it's okay that I'm putting it in this box. This is old Stila. Oh, is this cream? Oh yeah, it's cream. What was this called? Peony. We've got an old Rimmel quad here. Old gosh makeup. I don't care about this. This can go. Guys, this was, I'm not going to show it because it's kind of private information, but it was my mom's nurse at the CL CLSC. The lady used to come and like proof the apartment to make sure it was safe for my mom while she was having cancer mobility issues. It's sad. See, like a lot of sad memories. Then there's happy memories like the Laura Mercier, the first artist palette. I have a copy of this palette already, so I think it's a bit much to keep. I don't need that. Oh, this is when it's hard. This is Lancome MAC. The fact that this is even still here, like I used to steal my mom's makeup in high school. It's old vintage Lise Wattier. Color icon again, sweet as candy. These quads look the same. It looks just like um, walking on eggshells. Do y'all remember this? Oh my God. Pretty sure I made my first eyeshadow makeup tutorial or one of my first eyeshadow makeup tutorials on this. It is a quad from Maybelline. It was the Maybelline Eye Studio. These were phenomenal. Like the shades are still probably so good. It's so old though, and they still use this kind of packaging. I really like it. This is old school L'Oreal. Just goes to show that drugstore packaging has come such a long way. <laughs> I've got, oh my God, it's MAC blush, and the packaging is still really nice. <gasps> this was from, do y'all remember this collection? What was it called? Let me know in the comments if you remember from Sample Beauty, which is a brand that's sold at Beauty Bay. Let me show you the eyeshadows. I bought this in 2021 or 2022. I think it was the last makeup haul I ever did. Old Physicians Formula, you guys. Pretty sure. Yeah, Physicians Fo Formula, Canyon Classics. Cute. I got some more Rimmel Trio, Rimmel Quad. Don't really care about these. I didn't really like Rimmel eyeshadow last I tried it. Like it was okay, but there's a lot of duds. Oh, of course there's another walking on eggshells. Pretty sure I decluttered mine and she was like, no, 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 let me take yours because I'm finishing mine and she hit pan in hers. She was more diligent about hitting pan on some things. Like even this, this was Silent Treatment. This was a duplicate. Silent Treatment was great. Was such a nice trio. Oh, there's nothing else left except Les Kiads. I don't know how to pronounce that. Full disclosure, I speak French, but not to the standard of the Quebecois. So yeah, just enough to like work professionally, but not fantastic. This here is Lancome and it's really pretty, but I'm not gonna keep this one because I don't know, it looks heavily used. It was loved and used, it's good enough. Let me take out the divider and I'll probably use it for another purpose at another point in time. I feel like I'm on a roll, yay. Okay, so this, what is this? Sweet Cheeks by NYX. Do I have this already? Let me just see, cause I do have a NYX blush palette somewhere. Maybe I don't actually. I don't, really? I don't actually have this in my collection. I think I just gave it to her and I'm contemplating as to whether I should keep this or not. I'm gonna put this on the side for now. Ooh, she had, I remember when she bought this, my mom. This was such a pretty palette from Too Faced. I don't know how the pigmentation is. Do y'all remember this? Did you have this? 
uh, what was it called? The Matte Eye Too Faced Palette. That can go in the throw box bin. The throw box? The throw bag bin. We've got, oh my gosh, remember these Stila palettes? This was all matte. I remember her being super excited about buying this because she loved matte eyeshadow. It was a huge trend amongst older women. Like she was in her 40s when she bought this probably. And she was really big on not wearing shimmery things because shimmery things quote unquote highlighted wrinkles and stuff. This was the In The Know palette. I'd be okay with decluttering that, honestly. Then we have this fantastic palette from Makeup Forever. Pretty sure I decluttered this and gave it to her. I think it was limited edition. I remember getting this at the event and she clearly used it quite a bit. She clearly leaned into the neutral shade. There's no pan, but I'm good. That can go. That's... Not really a necessity. I've got a very old Urban Decay shadow palette. Do y'all remember this palette? So we actually got this on Outlook, which was a discount website. I don't even think this exists anymore. There was two. There was Outlook and there was another one. Let me know in the comments if you remember what it was. But I'm, I'm good. I can let this go. I have a lot of Urban Decay stuff. This was called Petal Pusher. I'm gonna let this go. It's also very old. I just don't, a oh, stupid thing came out, whatever. I just don't need this. We've got, oh, this is pure. This is the four in one mineral makeup. This is the foundation that I use, but clearly, um, cause it's a powder foundation, it's a pressed powder foundation. We were using this as bronzer cause it was too dark for either one of us, but she was a deeper skin tone than I was. I was, I am. Um, I just don't need this anymore. I have other bronzers. This is unnecessary, but it's a fantastic product. It's too bad. We've got this Annabelle Smoky Nudes. Pretty sure I did a tutorial on this. Um, it wasn't a great palette, to be fair. It was okay for a drugstore, but the pigmentation was very hit or miss. This is a brow to go. I am personally not into powder brow po products, and even if I was, I can always go into a matte eyeshadow in an actual makeup palette. So for me, this is not this is not necessary. I've got Clinique. Pretty sure this is a brow product as well. It's too bad the packaging is really cute, but it's a bit cumbersome. Okay, I need to see all this makeup. This is so heavy. I need to get this in the bin. I don't think we're going to be doing a throwback video. I think this is the throwback video, even if it's slightly out of focus sometimes. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to go through this quickly because I want to get a lot of things done today. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna sit back down. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's another Clinique brow kit. I don't really use these. I feel super bad about this, but it is what it is. Oh, that glow kit palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. How could we forget? I am actually so surprised that my mom bought this and I didn't buy this. Oh God, I know this is so old, but why do I want to keep this? Like, is it the end of the world? Probably not. I don't know, man. I don't know what it is about it. Okay, don't judge me. Listen, I've been good so far and I can always go back and declutter more. Speaking of old things, I remember when Rimmel packaging for the Stay Matte was like this, but the fact that this is a sturdier and better quality packaging, like I'm telling you, some of the old drugstore stuff is better packaged than high-end makeup. It's made to last in your makeup bag. This is the new packaging, by the way. Oh, it smells like... Rimmel powder though. I mean, mind you, Rimmel powder does have a fragrance to it. Anyways, I'm going to declutter this. 
We have these Corez kits. These are eyeshadows. <gasps> How cute is this? It's a little bit gimmicky there. Um, I can declutter this. I don't need this. Oh my God, guys, it keeps going. I think she got this in a kit. Isn't it cute? It's that cute cardboard packaging. This would be so good for travel because it's really light. It says on top, do what you love and follow your passion. Mom. Oh my God, why does it say mom on it? I'm gonna freaking cry. I didn't wanna cry, I'm sorry. Anyway, I didn't think I was gonna cry for this. Oh God, it's so cute, but I'm gonna let this go. I have this from Clarence. I got this in PR, I gave it to her because I wasn't using it. It's so pretty, but I don't need this. I don't really use quads as much. Oh gosh, okay you guys, when I was a Revlon ambassador. They had this amazing Kajal eyeliner. It was an angled eyeliner with an angled brush on the back and she liked it so much that she bought it when it was on liquidation and she even has the like closed one. I'm really tempted to see if the closed one is okay. See how it's angled? This was freaking genius. This was such a good product and of course they decl decluttered. They discontinued it. And the other thing that was annoying is that, I don't know if you can tell, the plastic covers on these were trash. Just like the NYX jumbo pencils that always cracked. And then the product would dry out and it was over before you even finished it. I wish Revlon still made these that were from the Colorstay line and they were so damn good. They came in like jewel tones only. I, like I said, I'm tempted to keep the one that's closed because who knows? Do you remember the times where we would buy things because we just were trying to mitigate the fact that it would get discontinued and just buy way too many of the same product thinking we needed backups when we really didn't? This is a Lancome eyeliner deep water blue from the in love line this was a really nice eyeliner but it's very old what is this luminel i don't even know what this is i don't even know this brand it's probably french anyway it's an old eyeshadow it can go oh gosh my neck is hurting the show must go on you guys this is Forever 21 Knock Off Naked Palette. It even has an eyeliner in there that can go. Oh my God. Original Naked Palette, of course. Original Naked Palette. Is mom's more softly used than mine? Is hers newer than mine? I don't know. Does it even matter? This should probably get decluttered. Same with the Naked 2, and you know what is, I think my Naked 2 has a broken mirror, so I'm tempted to even keep hers. Hers is more softly used too, and it's definitely newer, I know that, because I met the global makeup artist, Eric Jimenez, when he was the global makeup artist, now he has his own brand and stuff, I don't know what he's doing anymore. He gave me a few palettes, I gave some away, and then, I think I did, I did a giveaway, and I gave one to my mom and I still had my original. I might keep hers instead of mine, honestly, even though I think I hit pan on one of my shades. I can't recall actually, I think I was trying, but the packaging of hers is just better than mine. What else is in here? Oh, the Shuamara, oh my God, this was also a big deal. I remember, okay, so this palette, the story is I did a makeup tutorial in exchange to have the palette. I didn't get paid for this, they, it was like, it was between this palette and the Lorac Pro and the PR lady was like, this one's better than Lorac Pro. And at the time, Lorac Pro, the original, was way more popular. And I was like, really? Okay, fine. I'll try it to be different. And it's a nice palette. Um, it's quite large though and cumbersome, but I kind of want to keep it in a way. I don't know. I feel some kind of a way. See, like this is where we get attachment. But the fact that it's in my mom's collection means that I've tried to declutter it. This is a CoverGirl Olay uh, Simply Ageless. I remember the campaign was with Ellen DeGeneres. Anyways, this is old, old, old. This has to go. Ouch, sorry. Oh my God. 
I did a brow routine with this product and then I wasn't using it anymore. I was even using it as an eyeshadow kit when I would go traveling. It came with tweezers. It was the first time I ever received long home PR. Again, that was a huge deal for me as an Anglophone blogger and I'm pretty sure this is from 2012. I'm tempted to keep the tweezers even though I don't need more tweezers because they're long comb tweezers, guys. They're probably not as good quality as uh, tweezers you would buy singularly from them though, if you know what I mean. All right, let's keep going. A lot of distractions in this drawer. Let's bring this stuff forward. Oh, I've got a Clinique palette. It came with two pencils. I used it, I think, for a couple of videos and then gave it to mom. It's nice, but you know, do I really need this? Probably not. Long comb. Dude. Okay, let's get this out of the way so it's not so distracting. We've got some mineral set it, don't fret it. I don't know, there's no date on it. Ooh, this was really nice. So Pure did these like cream highlighters or something and cream bronzers and whatever. And as nice as it is, um, yeah, it's cream, it's gotta go. Here's another brow kit, mom and her brow kits. Milani, what is this freaking packaging? Like, why was it curved like this? To take up more room? Why? It also, oh, this is so cute. Look at that. There's another applicator missing, but it came with mini tweezers. That's so freaking adorable. Should I put this in the recycling, the metal tweezers? Because it's metal. And this was the palette I used for my very first eyeshadow tutorial on YouTube in 2010. Time for wine. It's really pretty. Can I use the 219 outer corner color that's similar to cranberry? There's a lot more sparkle in this than I anticipated. Here's a green one. I don't remember what this was called because the label is off, but another Maybelline palette. Why did she have a duplicate? This looks the same. Guys, this was the best best Maybelline eyeshadow quad in the history of the world. This was so popular on YouTube. Oh my gosh, do y'all remember the stylish smokes? Taupe eyeshadow and just like cool toned browns were everything and this makes the freaking nicest smoky eye. Seriously, aren't these colors so freaking gorgeous? Why do I want to keep this? Yeah, this can go. That shimmery shade is not a cream, but it kind of looks like a cream. I'm willing to bet that the pink is creamy too, but again, I have a lot of these kind of colors, so I don't need this, and it's well used. How about getting rid of it? Oh no. <gasps> no. Guys, not the Inglot. No. I know these eyeshadows had expiration dates on them. Why did she get orange? That's so weird. I don't want to get rid of that though. Why do I not want to get rid of this? Look, I, I have resistance. I know I'm not going to use it, but I just don't feel like it. Oh, I have a duplicate. The Strobe Genius by NYX. The Rosy Radiance palette. There's blush, contour, glow, and then there's highlighters, lid colors. This is cute, but it's just not for me. This bulky packaging for an eyeshadow and face palette. I don't need this. That's okay. I get so much Pixie PR these days. So we've got a Sephora palette. I feel like mom got this as a gift from work. Here's the palette. Either she got it as a gift or I got it as PR. I can't remember, but clearly she didn't like it that much because she only used like one color. It's, I don't know. It's Sephora makeup, y'all. Which is fine, but it's just at the time there were so many other more exciting palettes to use that she probably wasn't gravitating towards this very much. All right, another one bites the dust. Okay, I think the next two drawers are all brushes and tools. So I can empty that out off cam. Then I have some Z palette accessories that I'll wanna put with the other Z palettes that I have. This is makeup or decluttering. I'll put this in the big box. Some of this definitely has to go. Where do I put palette stuff? Supply stuff went here. 
sponge, makeup eyelash curlers. Oh, this like thing that you prickle your face with, the micro, micro needle roll. I don't feel comfortable using that. So I've got some jewelry boxes. Does anyone have like, oh, there's actual jewelry in here. Oh shit. What is this? What is this? Oh, uh, why does it say Marilyn? I'll look at this later. I just don't want to deal with that right now. So I'll just shove it there. This is trash. Another weird face massager, but it's plastic and not like little needles. I just realized I'm probably looking so like bad posture in this right now, but whatever. Thankfully, the rest of this is just all brushes. So I can just stick them in here. I put all of my makeup brushes, except the ones that I'm currently using and or the ones that need to be washed in a bin that goes in my Calyx. So that's what I'm gonna do with this stuff and I'll deal with it later. Like, look, there's so much. These are the Gearland Meteorite. Oh, I have to be really careful. I can't just open that willy nilly. I'm gonna knock these over. Oh, shoot. We will just casually stick the makeup ones in for now. The makeup quads can go in here with the singles palette palettes. Oh, this little makeup bag unlocks memories. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, this is to hold makeup sponge. Stick it with the makeup sponges and what's in here. Ah, more makeup brushes. Yay. I want to wipe down all of the insides of this. Oh, look. This is Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I'm not going to use that. Another brush cleaner. I probably don't need more than one of those, but I'll declutter it later. Maybe. I don't know. Look at which one I like better. Ooh, I used to love this quad. I was decluttering it and she kept it. I can go. Oh, my old age. Oh, my freaking ankle. It hurts to get up. All right, we're going back into my stuff because I want to see if I can like organize this a little better. Very nice. Probably won't wear these shoe bit ones very often, but they're really nice memory from the campaign that I did and I just feel like it. Can I put, I don't think I can put all this mascara up here. Do not think it'll fit. Nope. Might as well spread this stuff out then so that it all looks nice and tidy. Very nice. Okay, so eyeliners will go here. They're the liquid eyeliners, not dry eyeliners. Um, for this stuff, I have this other plastic. That could work, right? Okay, what could I put in here? Do these... Maybe not this one because it's a bit wide. Does this fit? Yes, it does. I feel like I could consolidate better like this. My NARS stuff. And because I'm a little bit neurotic, I want that like that. Can I put one here? Oh wow, amazing. I'm gonna take this Dollarama plastic out. Does this fit? Yes, it does. Hurrah, hurrah, huzzah. These are kind of like smaller. You know what? Good enough for Alexa. This is, oh, oh yeah. Okay, maybe not this. Can I put it like that and be able to close? Shut up, you. I can, this is good. Single eyeshadows. Okay, the problem here is I have a bunch more in the living room that I need to consolidate into here. That I'll probably need to declutter, let's be honest. This I don't love. There's not enough room this way. Okay, whatever, this is for now. No, what was in here? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, 
Okay, this clearly doesn't fit. Okay, but these two are blushes. They shouldn't even be here. These are what? Are these blushes too? Oh, these are eyeshadow palettes. Damn it. Uh, I'll put them all the way at the bottom after. I'm, I don't feel like bending over right now. Okay, so we've got lashes. The, this is kind of weird. Like, I feel like this is where the shadows should be. It's like the order that you do your makeup in, kind of. Except large eyeshadows can't go up here because they're heavy. I'll take this out for now. Don't want that there right now. Maybe at another point. By the way, these are not shadows. These ones are blushes. At another point in time, I will go back in here and wipe down the each drawer because it's a mess in here. Ugh. Where do I put this? Darn it, I don't want anything to fall. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare startle me. What will I put in here? Oh yeah, here we go. Let's take the eye stuff out. These are eyeshadows and mascaras. Should I put the mascaras in the one below alone and see if I can consolidate the rest of the shadows in here? The single ones and the palette ones. It doesn't really matter, honestly, but I think I will. And then in here is where I'm going to put these. Oops. Mascaras. A lot. I told you guys I don't declutter mascaras. I just open them, see how they are. And if they're not good, I dump them. And that's how. Oh man, I wish this fit like that, but it doesn't. It's going to have to go like that. Good enough. I have this empty tray from the living room. This is the living room tray, by the way, uh, from my last declutter. Haven't really touched anything. And honestly, I don't really feel like doing too much in the, in the way of decluttering. Shadows, shadows, shadows. But I do want to kind of see if I can finesse this in here and then I'll probably declutter again. I just don't feel like going through absolutely everything. Like I emptied out mom's makeup drawer. I think that was a big feat. I've already made space for other things. So in here, it should these actually go with the mascaras? That would be so good actually. Give me a hot second. Do I have a narrow, oh I do. I've got this Lux box container right here. That could go really well, actually. Does it fit? That's the question. Shut this. Please. Ah, no, see, not meant to be. Crap. Maybe it's this box that's actually too big. Maybe that's the problem. Ugh. I've got this guy. This is the process, y'all. See, that's one handful. You know what? It kind of works. It's not great, but it's there. I got some stick eyeshadows. I don't want to stick that in. Oh, I found a liquid eyeliner that can go in here. This is, these are brow pencils. These can kind of just live like that. I don't have a lot of brow products, honestly, because I don't get through them really quickly. I think these are fine, like, this is going to annoy me, but whatever, it's going to be here. I'm going to have to just remember that they're there. Uh, these are single eyeshadow stuff. Can I fit, what can I fit in here? Oh gosh. Oh, you know what? These little things, these could work right? Yeah. Okay. 
These are liquid. Good enough. Cream. One Stila. That's liquid technically. What? These are for the Z palette, so I'll put that with the Z palette stuff. Got a couple of sharpeners. I think I'm gonna put these somewhere else though. And the rest are just like tool stuff. Like these things don't go here. What? What? Oops, I almost dropped that. That would have made a mess. I had another sharpener in here. Oopsie daisy. Wait, but we have more eyeshadows. That's the problem. Um, how do I do this? These can go here so that they can like stabilize this guy. Wow, I love that. Mm, or I'm really, I'm that person, guys. Neurotic, like all long comb together. A couple of single eye shadows. These pencils, maybe can go somewhere else then because they're kind of like ridiculous flying around. What? Wow, I love that. I love it. More singles. The singles are there all together so that they can mingle. And then these can go here for now. And it's kind of stupid that they're rolling around. Can this go this way? No, it can't. Whatever. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Yay! There we are. Good enough. What's this again? That's fine. What's here? Oh, now I have nothing here. Oh, uh, this is gonna be. This could be the the blushes and stuff. Blushes. Bye, oui. Oh, I love. Amazing. This is a single bronzer and a single bronzer. Everything else is a palette. The palettes. Ugh. You know what, y'all? And looking at the other drawers, they're pretty much like everything else is full ish for now, except this one, which is where I think all the face palettes are going to have to go. So this kind of bothers me. I'm going to put this on the side and this like that. I won't be able to close this if this is like that. But the these ones are fine. So probably a sign that I'm gonna need to declutter. Okay, so I've got, oh, okay, this is a blush palette. Highlighting palette, I've got two of these. I got mom's and mine. Which one is lighter used? Which one do I wanna keep? Sorry that it's getting darker, but it's just like, it's been rainy all day. I've got two palettes that I still have not touched from Pixie. Let's just take these out of the packaging. Ah, damn. <laughs> Cause like, oh, can I get this out? Oh my God. Oh, it's so cute. And this takes up so much less space. These are called the Pixie Glow Cake. Oh my gosh, it's freaking cute. Sometimes I won't use things because I've kept them in the box. I have a really bad habit of doing that. This was my blush palette from Sephora. I don't think this is gonna close. Nope. This is gonna have to go back here. Not ideal, not ideal. That's better. Ladies, because I don't think these will shut. They're gonna have to lay flat. NYX, Pixie, Pixie. Will that close? Yes, it will. An Essence. I got some more Pixie. The Anastasia. This is just a cumbersome palette, isn't it? 
Will it lay flat there? No, it won't. Oh, is this a sign that I should declutter this? Not today, Satan. <laughs> so we have my face mists. Oh, what am I actually going to use? I'm trying to see like, okay, the rose one I actually used. Should these actually just go in the living room? I think they should. Here. Okay, don't kill me. I undid some of my work because I think that this drawer should actually be for like face palette things. Let me fix this and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Yep, this fits so much better. The Sephora ones will go like that. The NYX, the Pixie. This is much better. I know this is kind of ridiculous that all of this is standing and I don't think this one will close if it's standing. Let's see. This can go like that. This can go like, well, can it fit like that? Yeah, it can now. Da 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 da. Boom. That's much better. Okay, and then I had a plastic for this. Will it be these guys or might be this for cream blush. Yeah. Oh wait, I forgot about these palettes. No, gosh, it's like nonstop. I thought it was done. I was so happy. Like clearly it means that there's too much stuff, but I'm just not ready. The glow kit's gonna just have to live here for now. It'll like block off some of the cream blush storage because I'm decluttering my cream blush stuff. But this is a newer Merit cream highlighter, not blush. So like highlighters, cream blush, that's fine. Next, we had the lip stuff, which I told you guys I would work on, but honestly, I don't feel like it. This is face powders. Honestly, I'm cool with that. Like the face products, that's fine for now. Do I have better storage for this? I do have another. You know, because I kind of like, like it when things look a little bit more uniform. Does this fit in here? Yes, it does. I don't like it when things are rolling around everywhere. Should I just... There. I like that. That's good. Oh yeah, this is also why I don't have enough space because this drawer really needs to get decluttered. And it's a throwback drawer, so shall we go back into throwback mode? Yes, we shall. All right, this is another throwback drawer. So let's go back into throwback mode. And I'm gonna show you some really old stuff right after, actually no, um, I don't even know. Where is my bin? Okay. I'm, I think we're going to segregate, segregate the sponge stuff because like, oh yeah, this is Z palette stuff. Yeah. I stuck it in here. I haven't really decided where I'm going to put that kind of supplies. Actually, those kind of supplies, grammar, Alexa. So I'm taking out this and empty palettes. Oh, there's my scale from when I would do project pan because I used to use a scale. This is a brush from Pure. This looks really cool. I still want to use this. Remember when those weird brushes were in style? These are AOA. The Wonder Blenders, the Papa edition ones that were 150. Sorry, I'm holding this like upside down-ish. These are the best and they're so damn cheap. Like forget Beauty Blender. That was a rip off. We didn't even know how badly we were getting ripped off. I mean, we kind of knew cause like, come on. Nobody needs like a $30 sponge. I have some of these 
really cute Paulin Joe lipstick refill things. It's actually just the package, not the lipstick refill. Earbuds, tweezers, lash glue, lash tweezers. These should go up here. Um, I think this is to hold your bag on a table. Like you put this against the bag and then you hook your purse on it on the table. It's like a weird knickknack that I never use. I should probably just get rid of it. And there are only so many eyelash curlers I need. Y'all remember the NYX jumbo pencils? I used to hoard these and now I'm throwing them out. Do you remember the Revlon Colorstay moisture stains? These are actually nice. I liked them. I swatched them in a video a long time ago. Then we have the NYX Butter Glosses. Pretty sure these are still, like you can still go out and buy these. Oh my gosh, the Rimmel Vinyl Gloss. These were some of my favorite lip glosses. I had these as well. Okay, vintage Clinique packaging, y'all. What? Ew, ew. It just went bad. She would just leave it in the drawer and forget about it. This was one of my favorites. I used to use this too. Like I used to go into her makeup stuff and be like, let me borrow your blush. And I would wear this to high school. So these are very old. This packaging is even yellowed a bit. This was old Revlon, guys. It's like vintage Revlon. Look at that. Oh my gosh, what was this called? Revlon Complexion Blush On in Ginger Gold. Oh my God, this packaging. <laughs> oh my gosh, she used this a lot. I didn't, I never used these. Honey Brown Luster. These are actually pretty. The packaging is not really cute though. Oh, is this what I think it is? Have I unlocked some key memories to any of you guys? Because this hidden agenda concealer palette, <gasps> dude, I used to love the magnetized packaging. Like I love that sound. And even the feel of the packaging was really nice. <gasps> oh God, this makes me so sad. This was, we got this when Target came to Montreal. It was in the Alexis Neon where the old Zellers used to be and then they closed down. But now it's still my happy place because they have an amazing um, greenhouse with plants there now in the Canadian Tire. So it's all good. We've got, oh, this was PR that I received from an Elizabeth Arden collection. Oh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, I found something so gross, but needs to be decluttered. Remember when Kat Von D, uh, I don't remember what her, it was like tattoo cover or something like that. The response at the drugstore for that was the hard candy glamouflage. This, I don't know, we were so obsessed with heavy duty concealer back in the day. This was before Shape Tape. We have this really old thing, dude. What the hell is this? L'Oreal Bronze Soleil. Is this like Soleil by Chanel? Soleil de Tan? Oh, okay. This has got to go, clearly. Oh, so this is my mom's Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. I think this came out around the time that all the BB creams were really popular, but also probably right before the one in the aerosol came out. What was it called? Like Dior Flash Foundation? I don't even remember what it was called. It was like a spray foundation. Oh my God. Memories unlocked when I opened this box, but look at this pretty embossing in the Milani bronzer. How pretty is that? But it's just a regular bronzer. Okay. We've got a bunch of these. Oh, she clearly used this a lot. These were all from Clinique. The one thing I feel bad about this is, like, can I recycle this? If I take out the plastic, are these metal packagings recyclable? Because I don't need this many of these kind of containers. I had so many of these because my mom used to buy a lot of Clinique makeup. What is this? Ew. Oh. Oh, it's Clinique. 
It's gotta be Clinique. It's very Clinique-y. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, this palette, my mom had this when I was in high school and I used to steal it, for, not steal it, but like borrow it. Doesn't this look like NARS packaging, but shiny? Can you imagine that this palette is not falling apart? This is the brand called Faces, which like nobody knows. <laughs> Or maybe you know. Let me know in the comments if you know what it is. But they still sell this brand at Carrefour Laval. Um, you can find a kiosk. Uh, not a kiosk. It's an actual like standalone store. If it still exists, I don't know. Oh my goodness. When I opened this, it just smells like... You know, that smell that... Like eyeshadows used to be perfumed before. I got a whiff of that. Dude. Ugh. <laughs> This is vintage Revlon. Look at how nice this palette was. She must have loved this so much because this one is completely panned. This was back when under consumption wasn't just like a fad on TikTok. It, it was the real deal. Like you would use eyeshadow until you panned it or you know, you used up your favorite color and then you would go out and buy another one and toss this. What is this? Oh my God, this might be so, so old. Because I don't know when they used to sell Max Factor in Canada. I don't know if they ever sold it in Canada. It might be from Honduras or the States because they don't sell Max Factor here. Max Factor is basically, I think it's Maybelline. And then we have two, ah, two things from Avon. This is really pretty. And then there you have it. All this has got to go. All this throwback makeup. Was that not insane? That was crazy. I can't believe we did that, but it feels so darn good. I hope you enjoyed this makeup declutter. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, because I am probably going to do more makeup declutters and more all kinds of declutters. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.